G'day, I'm Andy from Andy Can, but today I'm actually working for Drifter to some extent and I just wanted to show you around my new Dot 7. We just set it up today for the first time. Had my mate Corey here helping me out. He's actually behind the camera, so um, g'day Corey, how's it go? <laughs> He's got his thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to show you around the, the, new, the new trailer. We, uh, we set it up, we did it on time lapse. I think it took about 20 minutes. Uh, we didn't time it, but it went really smoothly. Uh, for the first setup, so we had a really, really good time, me and Corey doing it. So I'm just going to show you around a few little features inside. So come inside. Uh, hope you guys can see this in here. Might be a little bit dark in here, but uh, we okay there, Corey? Still? Yeah, we got the uh, mattress cover here. It's, initially, I didn't think this is a very good idea, but the more you think about it, when you're packing away a wet tent, the last thing you want is the wet tent to come down on your nice mattress. So um, the old cover is a really, really good idea. So it's pretty easy to work too. All you got to do is just unzip it roll it back and away you go. Um, also in here, which is one of the best features I think we could have here is these, this little bed base, you know, when you want to lay in bed at night and read a book or, uh, you know, you just push that up like that and out comes the light, over you go and turn it on um, under there. It's just absolutely magic. I absolutely love that. I think that's the, one of my favourite things about that we got. Also the other thing as well, which I found really, really helpful on the first setup was um, when you walk inside this tent it's really really dark so it's really handy to be able to come in here first thing you do is this little switch here and you turn on the little light up there and straight away you've got light inside your tent uh, it's just absolutely awesome all right so i'll turn that down off now so what we'll do now oh just a couple of little features that i'll show you first over here is where we've had six, six sockets put inside the bed here so we've got one for extra lights if we need and also over here i don't know if you can see very important these days for charging your phones or iPads or the kids uh, we've got the USB chargers there and we've also down the other side done the same thing here we've got more USB outlets here for charging uh, your phones and your iPads etc look at that so cool and um, also you've got the nice boot liner bed base here it's all boot long nice and soft and another extra feature which I think is pretty awesome and here you can unzip this here and uh, get to your stuff if you need it here you can actually i don't know i'm thinking of putting toiletries or something in here uh, got my kind of drifter bag in there with the, the pegs and ropes which i haven't actually had to use yet for this setup and um, we've got our spare blocks in here for if you're on a you're on a bit of a sloping site they're handy to put underneath uh, the trailer there but that's really awesome and of course you get to your jerry can they can even put stuff in here if you want you know and uh, use that as a shelf or something if you want um, and then just zip it back up at night, you know, when you go to bed. Keep all those little creepy crawlies out. You know what the wife's like. Now we've actually got these little pockets down here too. Which is pretty cool from it's an area. So if you get really hot at night, you can undo those. That's the old uh, draft. Yeah, come through there. That's, uh, yeah, another good little feature. Uh, and one last thing i just show you inside here, which I like too. We've got the pockets in the tent. So if you do have, uh, you want to charge your laptop, sorry I keep saying laptop, I mean your iPad, you put your iPad in there, put it on charge there, or your phones or whatever, and the same on this side we've got pockets too, which I think is very handy, so you don't have to leave anything on the floor. So, so yeah, pretty cool, hey? Okay, here we are again around this uh, back of the trailer now, we're just going to set up the kitchen. Uh, I had a drifter kitchen in my last trailer, I had the timber kitchen, I absolutely love the timber kitchen, but uh, I decided to go with a stainless uh, kitchen for this one, so I think it just matches this trailer nicely, and as you open this, the great feature of this as the gate opens, it's on this lovely pulley system here which just pushes it out and keeps it in place, and you don't have to worry when it's windy, you don't have to worry about this flapping around, bashing your timber, it keeps it nice and solid in place. Okay, so here we've got the tucker box comes out there. We'll just chuck that down there for now. A little bit dusty, but we can clean it up in a minute. Um, and here we've got our kitchen, which we can just slide out. <laughs> Have a look in the box, beautiful. Plenty of room in there for storing your fresh fruit and vegetables. That's what I use that for, the fresh fruit and vegetables. Another excellent feature on this new trailer, which I really, really love, is these Teflon runners. You've got Teflon on Teflon, and this just runs so easy. It's just so easy to slide in and out. Look at that, just such a nice slide. It's no effort at all to slide that in and out. As I found on the other kitchen I had in my other trailer, it took a little bit of an effort to put it out, but this one I think was uh, is so much better system. So we just slide this out. We can hook it under here. And I think we can actually level that one off. Slide that down, get that a bit level. And we'll pull it out. Now this one's got a stopper kit in it. 
thankfully, because the last kitchen I had didn't have a stopper kit in it. And the first time I pulled it out to show somebody, pulled it out too far and it actually fell out. So I made sure I put the stopper kit, which is up, up the back there. Always want to get in there and see the stopper kit. See that? Look, you put it out and it doesn't come any further, which is really handy. If you add one or two too many beers and you put in the kitchen out, very good idea to have that installed, right? Just ask the boys at Drifter, they'll put one in. In fact, I think it comes standard there anyway. Okay, so pull that out, and then we just unhook this bit here. That's put something like so. And we just undo this bit here. Flip that off. Just chuck that up there for a sec. And it comes out like so. Just clips in here. And then we just loosen those off, push them down, get it rough and level, like so, and tie them up. Really good to be able to adjust these to whatever you want. And uh, you know, let's get it roughly level, like so. Let me get this bit back, and off she goes. Make sure we get it the right way around. And they just fit in these two nice little holes that they fit into. A little bit unlevel, but we can adjust that in a minute. But look, what a great kitchen! And this gives you so much space. If you want to come inside, I'll just show you a little bit around the space that you have actually inside this kitchen. So, firstly, you have this drawer here. We've got two plastic tubs, ready to be up. We've got our tap here, which is actually connected to my water tank. We should be able to turn it. I don't think I've turned that on yet. No, I need to connect that up. See, under here we have a hose. That will just clip on the there, like so. Nice and easy. And this clips on. Then get this in here, Corey. That just clips onto the end, like so. Bang. We have our water connected. Um, and I don't think the tap's turned on underneath yet, so I need to turn that on to get that working. That's actually an electric tap, so great little upgrade for me. Uh, and then we have here, too, to show you this quickly the lovely little new system here for opening. Just push button, uh, you come so much storage in there for all your tins and your food, dry food or whatever, and your drawers for your, your cutlery. Uh, I actually put a cutlery divider in here, which makes it easier to find your knives and forks and stuff. And then you've got plates and more tins or anything else you want in there. And then another lovely, lovely feature is this pull-out box here. You can actually pull this out, have more bench space on the top if you need it, and of course more room for food and storage. And behind here, we have even more storage. Now this goes all the way back down to the end. You can't even see in there. Uh, and we have a table here, which will come out as well, which we'll set that up in a minute. I'll show you that in a minute, eh? All right, well, that's uh, pretty much the kitchen set up. So, so yeah, pretty cool, eh? Loving it. Okay, so here we are again. I just wanted to show you a couple more things. Um, here we have the, a bit tight actually, because they're new. These are the pop-out tubs we use for washing up. So we'll just pop those out. We always, I always keep one in here like so, like that. And then I'll have another one here, which I pop out as well. And during the day, what we do is any what dirty dishes, we put them in there and just leave them under here. And that's uh, that's our uh, dirty dish pile. And then we'll make, put some, pour some water and we'll turn this tap on. As you see, I picked up this tap earlier. We've got the hose going from here back to your water tank. And now an electric tap, we can just turn that on. We can tip in some hot water off the stove. Put a bit of cold water in there like so. Nice and easy, fills it up. And then what we do, and my wife loves doing this bit. That's, uh, she likes to washing up, or so she tells me. And we get that out here. So we have our washing there, and we get out in here. We have all our dirties will be in there, and we just wash straight in here. And we only have a, a rinsing rack, which we put them in a rinsing rack. And all bang, bang, done, nice and easy. And then when you finish with washing up water, all you do, you don't need a sink or nothing, just go over here, and we just tip it out of the grass or somewhere out of the way. All done. And then you can pop it back under here again for your next lot. Put that on the way there for your next. All done. Nice.